It looks like Microsoft is trying to make its Office applications free for everyone with ad support. So Windows Central and BBOM are talking about this. So BBOM actually spotted this. Uh, so basically what is happening right now is that you can use Office apps without any subscription and you'll get the ads. So I wanna test this out actually. If you guys don't know, Microsoft Office on web is free. You can use it for free, but the desktop versions are paid. So we are talking about the desktop versions becoming free with ad support. Let's actually download this, the desktop version of uh, the Office application. I don't know if it's also available for Mac with the ad support free version. These articles say that this only works on Windows. So let's test this out. Uh, let's install the Microsoft Office desktop version and let's see if we can use this for free. This might not be available for everyone for now because there is no official uh, announcement or documentation about this ad supported Office thingy. Uh, maybe they're just testing for now as uh, these articles suggest. Okay, now finally it is installed. Let's check on this actually. Word. So these are all the, you know, Microsoft Office applications, the native desktop applications. So let's say I'm just going to open the word. Okay. Uh, can I create a black document? Oh, okay. So it looks like this thing isn't available for me for free. Okay. So as they say here, unfortunately, it looks like this free version of Office is still in limited testing as we were unable to skip the sign in prompt when running Office on our test machine. It's possible that Microsoft is currently only testing this version of Office in specific regions or AB testing with small group of people's first. Again, as I said, Microsoft hasn't officially announced this version of Office yet with ad support and there is no support documentation, no announcement, no nothing like that. But since some people actually got this working, maybe it's being tested on some specific regions or something. I think soon Microsoft will actually announce this if this actually happens. So right now they're just testing. If everything goes well, maybe yeah, they'll announce that, yay, here is the Office application without any subscription, but you'll have to see the ads. So here is one example. So this is the uh, Microsoft Word. To the right side, we can see this is the ad for ClipChamp. Unfortunately, uh, it looks like this thing isn't actually available for free for me. Uh, let me actually try to sign out. Can I sign out quickly? Okay, I'm signed out. Let's try to open this. Uh, it says uh, sign in or create account so I can't skip this and it looks like there are some limitations to this like you can't export your documents locally or save locally you'll have to use the OneDrive and it looks like there is even like 15 second long video ads so right now if you see this prompt where when it asks you to sign in but you see this option skip for now when you click on this you basically get the ad supported office and to save the documents then you'll have to sign in i guess let me see actually one more try no i don't have this skip thingy it says close and yeah as i said you can only save it to onedrive so you'll have to sign in to save to the drive so there are actually a lot of features that you can't use uh, with this ad supported microsoft office ton of them actually <laughs> okay so i don't know maybe it will increase uh, as they actually release this version of microsoft office for now again as i said there is no official announcement or documentation maybe in coming week or two we'll see some official announcement if Microsoft actually decides to make Office free with ad support. And I'll make sure to make a update video on this. That's it, hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.